we found our fourth snake of the night. We were trying to find an owl. It was sitting on the uh, power line. And then I looked to my right because I heard something. And this is the guy that I heard. Look at that. He's really like a chocolatey brown color up here. But when you get to the back, it's like a really light color. That's a chunky male. Look how long he is. Yeah, he's really long. He's like, uh, I'd say almost two feet. Just about. More than that. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm seeing more of them now. That whole bush was kind of in my way. That's well, he's... Uh, saying his tail's on the other side of the bush. He's about two and a quarter, two and a half. I wouldn't say three foot, but he's... Almost. Just about, yeah. That's a, that's a good-sized male. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Wow, he is really pretty. Look how well he blends in with that, too. Super cool. He's just cruising along. And I see, again, no rattle, and we were very close. And, I, and the reason that I stress when I say no rattling, for a lot of herpers and people that are, like, a part of the hobby, keeping rattlesnakes, or keeping snakes, or rattlesnakes, or anything like that, we understand what that means. But I have a lot of uh, people in the audience that really don't know much about rattlesnakes, don't know a lot about snakes in general. I'm keeping an eye on the rattlesnake. He's over there. He's kind of just cruising. Um, but... The reason I state that is there's a lot of misconception that rattlesnakes are out to get you. All they want to do is bite you. You know, us as hobbyists, we kind of understand what, what I'm saying here. But for the people that aren't, I mean, he hasn't struck at us. We're well, we were pretty close to his strike range. At least my foot was, and he didn't even attempt to. Had no, no angry sign of wanting to uh, cause me any type of harm. Uh, for those that don't know, it does cause or take a lot of uh, energy and uh, time to actually make the venom that they or they use to take stuff down. And like I, when I say that, I mean it is it is a crucial for them to ha use that venom for food. It doesn't only just take down the prey, but it also helps them digest the prey item that they are eating. So it's not only just a defense, but it also works as how they eat their food. Sorry, we looking around because uh, something just flew over our heads and that was either an owl or a really big bat. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna find my owl tonight. <laughs> well, look at him go, look, he, you can barely notice him, me too. He blends so well over here. Look at that. Super cool. And we're just finding them on the move tonight. Like, there's, there, I think we've only seen one that's sat in one spot so far. What is well, this? two, because the is, baby. Oh, yeah, because the baby. But he did move to yeah. get to that spot, so. So what is this, number snake number four or number five now? I think this is number five. This is number five. Sorry, guys, I'm losing track because I'm on freaking Colorado River Toad number 82. They are everywhere tonight, guys. But... There he goes. Awesome freaking find. I love watching these guys in their natural element. Um, let's see what else we can find. And uh, I'm hoping tonight it's super humid. It's rained a lot. I'm My goal tonight in this area is I really want to find a sidewinder. That's my goal. If we're lucky, we may be able to find and video a Gila monster if we're lucky i know there are some in this area but with it being raining i don't know they could have gone in the, into their holes for the night but we'll see what happens but let's see what else we can find we're still not done Beautiful. Check out this beautiful barn owl, guys. 
Super cool. Let's see if I can get him to look this way. Big poop. <laughs> All right, we'll let him, let him hunt. <laughs> that was cool. Whoa! He just hit something. What did he get? I don't know. Let's go find out. He's right in the field, right off the road. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was creepy looking. His eyes reflected. He looked right at the camera. That's cool. He's like, you talking about me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really cool. I love this camera. I can keep my distance from him without disturbing him and still be able to see him. Yeah, that's really cool. I know this is a herping video, but, uh, this is pretty cool to find an owl just hanging out right off the power line. This is what I look for. <laughs> <laughs> well, Owls and raccoons. Up, she's looking, or she's, or while I'm looking down, she's looking up. <laughs> yep. Owls and raccoons. What's up, everybody? So, check this out. Another male. But this one's really cream colored. Beautiful, maybe about two feet. Just just shy of two feet. And he is really cream colored. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? And he's got a like a weird, uh, if you look at the mid body right there, he's got a really small diamond between two really big diamonds. That's a really cool pattern. Very cool. I forget what snake number we're on. We're either on six or seven at this point. We're finding tons of stuff, guys. But I'm going to let this guy cruise on his way. But look at I just love the color on this. It's Super cream color. It, like, blacked out for a minute. Probably because it caught you. Oh, no, the cord's getting in front of the thing. Oh. So the screen's blacking out. <laughs> Thinks I'm looking in it. <laughs> Loopers. No. <laughs> but, uh. Well, we're going to leave this guy alone, but let him cruise along his way. Let's see what else we can find. This is pretty cool. We're on a different road. Lots of wash over here. Tons of different sands out that way. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Sidewinder tonight. But beautiful colors. Love the cream on this guy. Let's hope we see more. Thing is huge. <laughs> it's like the 601 we found tonight. It's freaking insane how many of them are coming out now. The thing is bigger than a softball. That's awesome. I think it might be gravid. Might be. But its st stomach is all bulgy. That or it's full of beetles and all the other bugs that it's found out here. Wow, look at it compared to the rope. Ooh, now it's looking at me. <laughs> looking at you like I look at cake. <laughs> Just eat my burger. Look at like the front of it though. Like it's got like a super toned chest. Like it's been working out. Do you even lift bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> this thing is scary. I wouldn't want to mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Female. Oh she's about to pop. Guys, check this out. This is a big, gravid female. Um, I think this is a. Uh, yeah, it's an Aatrox. Beautiful Western Diamondback. Super gravid. I mean, check out that belly. 
That is all babies. She's going to pop any time now. Check that out. Very visual mom right now. Yeah, she's going to pop any time. She's a big girl. She is beautiful. Well, this is going to end the night for us, guys. We've been out here for a little while. Um, Lucian, my son, has uh, chemo starting in the morning. So it's going to be a little bit until we're able to come back out. Um, but this is an amazing find. Um, I, it, it makes me happy. For the past six years, I've relocated rattlesnakes from my local area um, for people that don't want them there. And instead of letting them just kill them, um, I've relocated over 200 plus rattlesnakes in this area within six years. So to find pregnant females or all the snakes that we have found tonight is just really awesome for me because it shows that I'm not doing this for nothing. So this is this has made my night finding this very gravid female. I mean, she's got scale separation and it's not like she just ate something cuz it would have been up in the higher body part right there. Like that's thick all the way through. So she's heavy gravid. Yeah, that's a big girl. I can't wait to see your kids crawling around out here. Oh, I'm so excited. Great way to end the night, guys. But I appreciate everybody that stayed tuned for this. Um, shout out again to our sponsors, Zilla Footwear, as well as Fry's Critters. Please check them out. Um, their links will be in the description below. Um, as well as if you guys click our link tree um, and order anything from Zilla Footwear, if you buy over $120 worth of order, um, it is free shipping worldwide, no matter where you are. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but I mean, they're well worth it. Double-sided printing, uh, very comfortable shoes. They got high top, low top for every single one. Different, or different coloration in, in each design. They have everything from frogs, snakes, lizards, blue tongue skinks, tons of different stuff, guys. Definitely check it out. They drop new or shoes every other week. Uh, so definitely stay tuned and check them out. And I will catch you guys all on the next one.